we had chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a few empty wrappers. <laughs> oh, there's this. There's oh, some. Oh, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. And we've got alcohol. Cheers. So it looks like we're having a good girls night. Yeah. Alcohol, chocolates, friends. That's it. So, All the ingredients you need. Well, is that what makes a friend? What do you reckon makes a friend? Like Australian friendships. Like I talk to my friends from overseas well, and they reckon Australian friends are the best friends that they've ever had. They might sleep with their husbands, come over and visit and sleep on their couches, but somehow they still just end up friends. So by <laughs> their husbands, you mean their own husbands or the other person? Doesn't matter. Can we, uh, Doesn't um, matter. <laughs> all right. Okay. But, but yeah, some, for some reason, people think Australians make... It's nice chocolate. Make good <laughs> friends. Yeah. And well, when a mummy friend loves a daddy friend very much, that's when the new friend gets made. The little baby friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a while before he's a good friend, though. You can't, you can't give a baby alcohol. I mean, we can, but the baby... Well, like, uh, you know, government frowns upon it. That's right. You can, mm. like, sit him up in their high chair and go... Here's a drink, mate. And now look, well. let me tell you about my problems. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get bored and wander off real quick. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, so what makes a good friend, do you think? Because, like, like, Jules and I have known each other since we were five. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. So and we, yes. and just we, just and a little bit. And we've managed to stay. <laughs> How? How? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I suppose it's when you fight, you fight about the issues, you don't make it personal and you sort of drink lots of alcohol and get over it. Yeah, I, yeah. I'll drink to that. Chocolate and alcohol, <laughs> yeah. fixed. Yeah. Um, I think it's also about finding somebody that just accepts you as you are, mm. what's, what's and all, and you can feel comfortable about that. And I think one of the reasons why people like Aussie so much is we're pretty accepting. Yeah, laid back. Yeah, I mean, it like, we look, it doesn't matter if you fart or it doesn't matter if you've got bad breath and it doesn't matter if you do this, that and the other. You know, most things are okay. You know, I think, I think we've got a, a realistic attitude to life. You think we've got a realistic attitude to life or we just really just don't freaking care? What, what do you think it is? Um, I think it's a general, general sort of thing. People can fly their freak flag with as much pride as they want to fly it with. And it's, like you said, accepted. You know, sort of um, the difference is cool. You don't have to fit into a mould because that's just boring and it's mouldy. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I mean, there's still, like it comes down, that's probably why Australia had the first gay pride day in the world. Yeah. You know, our um, march down Oxford Street, all had little gay friends. I'm gay, I'm gay. Yeah. You know so what? how they do it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Except they probably would do it more like, I'm gay. <laughs> they have a cool way of doing it. You okay. Know? Not like me. <laughs> Straight girls just cannot get that. No. We get lots of good... Something about gay male friends. They just make the best friends, don't they? Oh, my and God. I <laughs> The first two crushes I had at school both turned out gay. Um, what does that I'm say? wondering if that was something <laughs> I did or whether I was just sort of, you know, yeah, it was, but gee whiz, there was a lot of guys <laughs> that we went to, pro like, in our yeah. really, uh, that are gay now. Mm -hmm. Well, they're probably gay then, yeah. but then they just didn't have a label. Thanks, John. He called me a loser and gave me alcohol. Love you heaps. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you know, Matthew, Matthew was always trying to... You know, he was always a fashion critic. He's turned into, you know, he's grown up with fashion. Yeah. He's now in fashion. He's amazing. Yeah, one of my gay friends gave me the best fashion advice I've ever, ever had. Yeah. And he said, when I was doing modelling, he went, Shay, he said, you've got the kind of body that looks fucking good in anything. He said, but don't wear anything unless it looks fucking good on you. No, I like that. Yeah, and I mean, that's what I've been doing this last week as we go through my wardrobe going, okay, fucking good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> fucking good. And just keeping the F good ones. Nice. Throw, throw away. Should we do that with boyfriends too? You know? <laughs> Only keep the fucking good ones. <laughs> yeah, sort of. why, do, why do women put up with loser boyfriends? What do you reckon? I, I think I that... Mean, well, I know I have. Yeah. I know I have. I know I have. Like, I've had... 
not only lose a boyfriend, so I've had like psychotic, narcissistic, <laughs> manic, <laughs> kill you if you don't look. I chase me around with an axe, literally, mm-hmm. type boyfriends. And I look back at it and I go, smart woman, dumb choice. <laughs> <laughs> but why, why do, like, you and I both work on an advice line mm-hmm. and we have so many people ring up about men that we just go... Yes. Like we had those years of experience behind us, not that they're that old, but no. we had those years of experience behind us now, mm. and we go, what the? Uh, if this is my daughter, I'd be dragging her out by the hair, yeah, and telling her to have more respect for herself. But we didn't do it, and they're not doing it. I think part of it is a bit of a low self-esteem for sure, um, but another part is these girls have faith they believe in these guys oh it's australia there's a fly um it's a reincarnated <laughs> ex-boyfriend it's a reincarnated <laughs> ex-boyfriend <There's... laughs> i see you've moved up in the world <laughs> yeah um he was a yeah. maggot now he's a <laughs> now fly, he's a fly. <laughs> <laughs> no that was my second ex-husband anyway <laughs> we don't need to go there but the <laughs> I think the girls tend to have faith and believe in the good times. You know, they go through the honeymoon phase and that's what they think they're dealing with and that they can, if they're faithful enough, if they're well behaved enough, if they jump through all the hoops, then boyfriend is going to revert to the honeymoon phase of their relationship. Problem is that won't happen until after there's an, an elevation and a blowout and um, Blood from it, firing several should other she survive <laughs> yeah. um yeah you know, he will go back into the um honeymoon phase again which is short-lived and then comes the blaming and then comes the psychotic behavior and um all the while sort of driving her self-esteem down mm. yeah i've seen the- aren't relationships fun give us a like if you think relationships are fun or thumbs up, or thumbs up. Um, yeah, yeah. Relationships are cycles. Yeah. And look, I think a lot of girls confuse chemistry. A lot of women, well, I say women, because look, nearly sixty. Jules isn't. She she was five the same year, but she's not. I did do a But a lot of girls confuse chemistry with love. Mm. Yeah. You know, and there's nothing wrong with chemistry. Chemistry is great till 8 o'clock in the morning, but some relationships should end <laughs> after that. They really should. It was swell, but now the swelling's gone down, you know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, you know, I reckon, yeah, love is one of those things. I mean, we've got a friendship that's a love. Yeah. And, and I think it's, it's one of, and it, you know, a relationship should be like that. It's somebody that you know you can trust. It's been a build-up of trust over a period of time. Mm. You know, if something turns wrong, like mm. if your dog gets hit by a car, yeah. you're going to turn up with a bottle of tequila, some chocolates, <laughs> examine the dog, make sure yeah. the dog's okay, examine you, mm-hmm. and not send you to a mental institution. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> You know, yeah. um, I once had friendship defined as, you know, you can have any sort of friend that you can go out with on a Friday night. But a true friend is the one that you wake up in jail with on a Saturday morning. <laughs> <laughs> so you go out and you do all that stuff and they're still beside you when everything goes wrong. But the, the other thing is, I think, I think part of Aussie friendship is telling stories. Mm-hmm. You know, Um the great Aussie yarn. Yeah. And look, a yarn, an Aussie yarn has a bit of truth in it, right? It does have a bit of truth in it. Like, like I met Kenny Reeves, but I didn't mm-hmm. sleep with him. But if it was a good Aussie yarn, he would have been begging me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, and see, and then with a good Aussie yarn... Name dropper. You would turn around and go, yeah. funny you should say that. Funny you should say that. <laughs> Patrick Swayze back in the day. Yeah. I always wondered about you too. I did always wonder about you too. Uh, and how'd you let him down, Jenny Jules? Oh, it was hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah but but then... when it went soft, I let him down. Okay. <laughs> 
See, but, you know, the other thing that shows our age is that if there's any people young out there, they'd be going, who the hell's Patrick Swayze? Well, yeah. they probably know Kenny Reeves is that old guy from... Um, Wick. John Wick. Wick. John yeah. Wick. You know, the oh. old guy that goes around killing people in John Wick. <laughs> Whereas people. we know him from 21 Jump Street. <laughs> yeah. No, that's Johnny Depp, isn't it? It's not, yeah, it is. Johnny Depp. Oh. Yeah. Keanu Reeves. Uh, yeah. Bill and Ted. Yeah. <laughs> but Johnny Depp, oh my God. I... Amber Turd. <laughs> Amber Turd. What? That's what her name is now. Oh. How can you go to court and admit that you pooed on your boyfriend in bed <laughs> oh and God. then still win a court case? But no, courts aren't rigged. <laughs> uh, forevermore we are christening her Amber Turd. She has set the women's movement back 10, maybe 20 years. At least. You know, you know the, There is a, you know, if you have a psycho boyfriend, you need to be able to go to the police with credibility and and expect to be defended. But somebody like that, who is a a woman who is narcissistic, takes her boyfriend, or her boyfriend goes to court to defend himself and then wins after saying in court, not only did she shit on him in his bed while he was asleep, but she chopped off his finger and held up a whole movie production for a week, right? And, he, and it goes on and on and on about the things that... She, and she so obviously lies in God. Right? Why wasn't she done after that? Perjury. <laughs> perjury. Okay. You know, perjury is a thing. Amber Turd. Can't use a real name, but Amber Turd is what she will now be forevermore because... Yeah. Of- have you heard about Amber Turd? No, not until right now. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. Perjury is the word. <laughs> <laughs> she had a good boyfriend. It was absurd. <laughs> Chopped off his finger. He's actually quite lucky, I guess. <laughs> Johnny, it could have been much worse. You've only lost a court case and a it finger. Could have been t- Jenny Depp by now. <laughs> yeah, that's right. What, what was it? What was the name of that guy that um, um, in the eighties lost his penis to, because he was cheating on his wife? Yeah. So it could be Johnny Bobbit. <laughs> yeah. Should have bobbed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Johnny Bobbitt. No, it could have been worse. Mr. Depp could have been worse. Could have been a lot, lot worse. Mm. Yeah. Crazy exes. Yeah, crazy exes. Would you ever go back to an ex? No, no, they're ex for a reason. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever run into exes? Yeah, yeah I, I actually did once and saw him with his new girlfriend. And, uh, really? Yeah, yeah. She, she actually looked just like I did when we were together. Really? Yeah. Fucking miserable. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go back. You can never go back. <laughs> but as in the words of some very, very famous British philosophers, if you want to be my lover, you've got to go get, get with, with my, my friends. friends. <laughs> um, Thank you. Was but friendship never <laughs> ends. <laughs> Woo, till next time, this is Shay. And... Not shape. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next time with more down under words of wisdom. Bye. Peace out. <laughs>